Hey there, Star Wars fans. This is Jason Oaks of People of the Free Gift, and this is my first Star Wars video. And I wanted to talk about Star Wars, not so much in sense that same sense that everybody's doing out there, but I wanted to talk about it from my perspective as a Christian pastor, and more in the sense of philosophy and uh, some things that I'm seeing that nobody else is really talking about. And today, I wanted to talk about a scene in the trailer for Rogue One and everybody's favorite character, except maybe Darth Vader, but I, I think particularly my favorite character is Donnie Yen's character, Sharut Imwe. And uh, the scene in the trailer that I most enjoyed is this one. So take a look. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. I wanted to talk about this line by Sharut, and he says, I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. Now, that sounds super cool and super intimidating if you're fighting against this guy. He fears nothing, he says. But I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the statement and ask the question, is this a valid philosophical statement? Now, think about it. If you believe that all is as the Force wills it. Now, the Force is not this personal God. Uh, the Force is this impersonal Force. It is this uh, thing that is controlling all things. And if the Force wills everything in this existence and nothing can happen outside of the Force then what that means is that your life is controlled by the Force. Now, if you believe that the Force is on your side, and the Force wants what you want, and the Force wants your victory, the Force wants you to stay alive, if you somehow know that, then I can understand his statement. But if you don't know what the Force wants for you. If, you. if you say, don't know that the Force is inherently good, which we know in the Star Wars universe that the Force is not inherently good. The Force is actually a balance between good and bad. And that's something that a lot of people misunderstand about Star Wars. It's built off of the yin-yang philosophy of Taoism as a worldview. It's not this uh, good needs to win. There always needs to be a balance between good and evil, and that's why the Star Wars story can go on and on forever, and I think we all want it to. But uh, in terms of Donnie Yen's character and this statement, all is as the Force wills it, and so I fear nothing, that's not a coherent statement. And what I mean is this, that if all is as the Force wills it, then what you have to fear is the Force. What you have to fear is what the Force actually wills. What you have to fear is whether the Force wants good or evil to triumph at this particular moment. What you have to fear is whether the Force is out of balance and which side is it out of balance on. Now, in, in Rogue One, it seems like the Force is out of balance clearly on the bad side. And so he might have that going for him. But I wanted to throw this out there just to get you thinking. I'd love to hear your comments on this and... By all means, if this is the first time that you've seen any of my videos, please subscribe. I plan to do more. I also do a lot of videos focusing on apologetics. I also post my sermons as a pastor. I do videos re pertaining to leadership and how to evangelize um, things of that nature. And so you can kind of pick and choose what videos you like, but by all means, please subscribe. Please, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. And also, uh, I would love to hear your comments below. If there's something in Star Wars that's kind of uh, got you wondering and you kind of wonder how it relates to worldview or uh, theology, uh, philosophy, those kind of things. I would love to hear your comments. I would love to hear your questions so that I can maybe uh, approach that in a future video. And for now, I just want to leave you hanging with this question. 
if all is as the force wills it, one, is that true? And two, does that legitimately leave you in a state where you shouldn't fear anything? All right, this is Jason Oak signing off.